Welcome to a new video on my channel. I hope you're doing fine. Today I want to give you a brief overview about um, SoundHound, which is expected to merge with Archimedes Tech Spec Partners Company, ATSP, um, on or after the scheduled meeting for the shareholders on April 26th of uh, uh, 2022. And with that being said, the company also announced that there was been an addition of 2 million um, of the pipe and they reached this agreement on April 9th. Um, additionally, they also extended the um, locker period for the CEO from 6 months to 1 year. If you look at the website, as you can see, they have an investor part already and they state that their mission and vision is uh, to enable to voice enable the world with conversational intelligence and they envision a world where our or their voice AI platform delivers experiences that exceed hum human capa capabilities and bring value and delight via an ecosystem of billions of products enhanced by their innovation and monetization opportunities. They also point this out in their investor presentation as they state over here on slide 6, they have want to create next to sub disruption in human computer interfaces and there's their vision which is basically what they said already on their investor presentation or on the website. So what does this mean? On the one hand they say that they have a huge TEM as you can see over here the TEM for 2026 is expected to be uh, huge with around um, 160 plus billion and as you can see from banking iot automobile retail over to hospitality enterprises general healthcare and contact centers and they also point out the 75 billion connected devices which are expected to be um, reached worldwide by 2025 and also that 90% of the globally um, projected new vehicle have an assistant by 2028. At least this is the, the background they give. I'm not really sure about these numbers because they are way out, but in general, um, I think we are all on the same page that there will be more connectivity and also more interaction between human and um, machines in any way. And if they can get a especially a huge chunk for the automobile area, then this might definitely be, be worth it for them. But it's still, it's still in the future. So Now if you go over to the strategic investors, as you can see over here on this stage, they have different well-known strategic, strategic investors, especially like Tencent, Mercedes-Benz, Hyundai for the car side, NVIDIA for the the AI um, chip area and then they have Samsung or and ATC for the um, smartphones and well, this is pretty impressive I think and also they are well well positioned in this area so as you can see over here there is a broad overview about their um, products as I have it in service right now you can check it out in the, in the presentation I quite like it it's Pretty impressive and also on their uh, YouTube channel they have different comparisons with different um, companies. Um, one to, what I wanted to point out was their technology breakthroughs and they have different parts which uh, work together on the one hand speech to meaning and then what they call deep meaning understanding and their collective AI. They claim that their technology is more like um, a human in a way that they don't really um, put speech to text and then um, put it on a different way into a meaning, but that is one one step. So we we just proce process what they what anyone is talking and then understand the meaning. And this is what they also claim to be doing with their AI, which definitely is uh, helpful if if a product does it and. Um, I like the way that they put it out in their um, YouTube videos. They, they showed different uh, scenarios where 
person is just jumping around from from one part to another part and also asking different questions in in one sentence and yeah the ai um had a pretty fast and also um complete answer to their questions which you really liked and the next part is the deep meaning understanding with which they claim to get to be being able to um, process the the context of the question or whatever was said and which helps to also like as you can see here a sort by price and also um, do a smart um, questioning let's say or um, results or show results in, in a smart way which is also pretty interesting and then lastly they are collective ai which is more or less like um, usage of different um, input from different areas and then put it all together which then helps them in general and i think it's best to check out some videos um, either on their investor presentation or on their uh, youtube video or youtube account so you can have a, a feel for their the type of technology which yeah i think is, is quite nice in comparison to, to all the voice assistant which you have there right there with alexa and uh, google or whatever so i quite like it so have a look at it yourself and lastly i want to go over to the financial overview which as i I see it's pretty similar to an early early company as you can see they they put out revenues right now they have around 13 billion, uh, million of revenue in 2020 already and in 21 they expect to have 20 million which should be rising quite dramatically as you can see a jump 50 percent from 2021 to 2022 and then afterwards more than a 3x in one year and one year and almost two and a half or more than two and a half x and then next year so their ramp up should be or they they claim that their ramp up should be pretty um big in the future and also they project um to be ebitda or adjusted ebitda positive within 2024 <coughs> However, it's only, or it should only be six million. Um, yeah, but afterwards it should be pretty big. So, will be interesting to see if they can deliver on these projections. However, as you can see over here, the transaction overview, the valuation in general is with two billion, not that big in total. However, um, or in comparison to their the actual revenue, it's it's high um, valuation definitely and they also compare their um, valuation to other peers as you can see on the right hand side there are the direct peers and i think it's all around the same valuation if you have a look over here it's a little bit um, better valuation for the uh, projected ebitda However, this is so far out, so there's a lot which can change, and otherwise I think they're almost in line with their competitors. Yep. So, this is something I want to point out also in the end. It's the example for the monetization. Um, there it is. This is something I'm, I'm pretty interesting, and it's not specific to this case, but in general, um, the AI could also be used for the... Uh, orders for for example fast food companies and uh, drive throughs which I think it's quite quite interest, interesting because this could be automated or maybe um, yeah improved in general not really sure how this will be working because the problem in my opinion might be that they on the one hand recommend restaurants and on the other hand they should also recommend uh, different uh, restaurants to the user so there's a um, conflict of interest, in my opinion, if the restaurants pay for recommendations to the user. This might be um, yeah, critical to solve, but we'll see how this would be. But in general, it's, it's really interesting to, to being able also to, to order online or maybe in the car. Um, or they also showed in the video and the YouTube channel that you could order 
watching Netflix and um, then they can show you the last orders and you can reorder anything you like or anything you want and um, yeah, this is quite interesting for the more connected world right now. So lastly I want to have a look at the um, share price right now. Uh, companies think a little bit less than NAV around ten dollars and didn't change right now. There's been a little bit of value but uh, volume but not that much. And it will be interesting to see if it will be dipping in the next days. And as you can see it's almost five business days before the expected shareholder meeting and there might be some dip beforehand. Um will be interesting to see what the, the stock price will be after the merger and I think Right now, it's m my opinion, it's likely that there will be a drop, but not sure. And um, however, I'm, I'm not investing right now at the area or in these companies with less actual revenue, since I don't think it's a good, good um, point of time right now for these companies. So yeah, hope you liked the video. But keep in mind, this is no financial advice. This is for entertainment purposes only, and. Um, I will be checking out the company in the future. I think the the technology is quite quite interesting. I'm not really sure about their monetization. But we'll probably get more information in the near future, and also when they have the earnings call, the first earnings call as public company. I will having a look. I will be having a look at this. And until next time, have a good day. Bye bye.